I'll be your host for the 13th annual Golden Apple Awards reception tonight. And Dr. Kello, I understand that you would like to say a few words this evening. If you'd come forward, please. How about a round of applause for uh, Greg Kello? You know, I was contemplating the other day that this was the, actually the first event last year when I came to Roanoke County that I attended, and I was just blown away with how wonderful the recognition was, the foundation and all the work that they were doing, and seeing all these great teachers and watching the videos up here. But I'd like to start tonight by introducing some people that are very important and do a lot of work and have committed a lot of hours to this um, Roanoke County, and that is uh, Mike Ray, our chairman of the school board. Mike, if you'll stand up, please. And uh, Mr. Jason Moretz. Uh, And I did get a phone call from some of the other board members. We have Tom McCracken, and uh, we have Jerry Canada, and Tim Greenway was going to be here tonight, but he had a long-term commitment with his wife, and I said, please don't break that. I don't want to be in her doghouse. I want to thank the Foundation Board. It's been wonderful working with you my first year here, and it's one of the most active. I've been all over the state, and what you do to recognize teachers and support the students and all what's happening in Roanoke County is unbelievable, and I want to thank you. Um, I also want to thank David Dillon and First Team for sponsoring tonight's event, and this is a tremendous event. I've seen a lot, and this is fabulous. I would like to congratulate all the nominees, and wow, it's incredible to watch what you do, not just on the videos, but when I walk through your buildings and see what you do every day, and you all are deserving of this honor. This is one of the highest honors we award each year to our staff members, and you should be proud to be a nominee and a finalist. It is a mark of your professionalism, and it's what makes Roanoke County one of the best school divisions, if not the best school division in the state of Virginia. So thank you all, and have a great evening. Thank you, Dr. Killow. We do want to uh, uh, just mention the, the members of the uh, school board. Uh, Dr. Killow mentioned uh, Mike Ray. And for the record, and I don't, know, I don't know who's here tonight and who's not, but. Uh, Jerry Canada, uh, Tim Greenway, Thomas McCracken, Jason Moretz, and Mike Ray, the members of our school board. Let's just give them a round of applause. They worked so hard, and uh, it's always hard to figure out uh, where, uh, uh, where the money has to go and what has to be done to keep uh, Roanoke County at the forefront of education. But uh, they do a great job, and, and, and we're, we're very pleased with, with their work. On behalf of the Foundation's Board of Trustees, I do want to commend all of our nominees here tonight and express uh, our sincere appreciation for everything that you do in, in Roanoke County. I'd like to now provide you with, with just a little bit of history about the Foundation because some people are not aware of what the Foundation does and share some of the work that the Foundation has done over the years. And I'll be sharing some uh, pretty impressive numbers with you here in just a moment. The foundation was created back in 1991 as a 501c3 nonprofit to help young people in Roanoke County Schools meet their educational and personal goals. And the mission is to promote the advancement and further the aims and the goals of Roanoke County Public Schools through the development and application of donated financial resources, some of those uh, on exhibit here tonight. We provide student scholarships for graduating seniors, teacher grants for innovative classroom ideas. We assist with student travel to attend state and national competitions and provide resources for international education and assist students in remedial education and also with substance abuse programs. Here's the numbers. Since the inception, we have provided almost $1 million to 1,500 graduating seniors $260,000 to more than 1,400 teachers for classroom projects, and over $300,000 for travel and educational programs. That's over $1.5 million in support to Roanoke County schools and teachers. We have had uh, many generous corporate supporters throughout the years. That money has to come from somewhere. Uh, and those uh, supporters include Carillion, BB&T, Kroger, First Team Auto, and the Roanoke County School Board itself. And even though our corporate community is very supportive of the foundation, almost 70% 
of our donations do come from individual contributions and contributors. The annual fundraising activities also support goals with the golf tournament. It's pretty good golf tournaments, raised over $350,000 since 1995. Uh, the student phone a thon raised uh, $200,000 since 1991, and the third annual Backpack 5K run just this past March is just starting up. They raised $2,000 uh, at that event. So we have put information on each table tonight regarding several ways that, if you should so choose, that you could support the Education Foundation, including participating in the Employee Payroll Deduction Program. And uh, we would like for you to consider doing that. Uh, we're not looking for huge contributions, but even if you would give uh, $1 per paycheck, if everybody did it, it would make a huge difference for the foundation. And again, that foundation does nothing but give back to the cause that you have dedicated your life to. So it is something that, that is worth considering. Let me tell you about the Golden Apple Award. The Golden Apple Award for Teaching Excellence was created by the Board of Trustees to recognize and honor teachers who have made a positive impact on their students, either academically or personally. It is funded in part through a grant from the Pepsi-Cola Bottling Company, and the first Golden Apples were awarded back in 2004. Since then, we have recognized over 1,200 teachers, and our former Golden Apple recipients are listed on the back of your program tonight. I encourage you to take a look at that and see uh, who uh, your colleagues are who have preceded you in this room here tonight. We have awarded these so-called Apples of Distinction a total of $75,000. The Golden Apple is our way of saying thank you for a job well done. Nominations are accepted from administrators, from colleagues, from parents and students, and we have been truly inspired by many of the comments that we've received. Most of the nominations were thanking the teachers for their efforts to help their children and make their school a wonderful place to learn. Several comments stated that they would never forget their teacher and would carry the lessons they learn from that teacher with them forever. Many teachers also go above and beyond the classroom and their normal day, creating learning experiences for students after school, on special trips, and of course with community involvement. So as you can see, we have a great bunch of apples. We had a total of 64 winners and uh, nominations, and all nominees were asked to submit an application. After reviewing those applications, 21 finalists were chosen to submit a video from a classroom lesson. The Golden Apple was chosen from among those videos. We also chose a winner for each level of education, elementary, middle, and high school, which we will recognize tonight with the Red Apple Award you see beside me. A finalist was also chosen to receive the Green Apple, which is uh, recognizing a teacher who has taught for three years or less. And we'll be awarding $3,000 to the Golden Apple Grand Prize winner tonight, $1,500 to the Red Apples, and $500 to the Green Apple. In addition, as you probably know and are anxiously anticipating, David Dillon from First Team Auto is providing a one-year lease for a brand new Golden Apple Grand Prize winner, and you walk past it on your way in, it's that beautiful new Nissan out there with the bows all over it, red, and it says, great teacher on the license plate. So it's beautiful. And the first team, by the way, has also donated additional funds so that we could increase the level of the award given to our Red Apples. So David, thank you very much for your support. Our Green Apple Award winner is Blaine Mills. Congratulations. Blaine is a fourth grade teacher at Glenbar Elementary. He's been teaching for two years, nominated by his principal, and he'll receive $500 in addition to that beautiful green apple cookie. Of course, now our red apples represent winners for each level of education, elementary, middle, and high school. They each receive a check for $1,500. And our red apple, for the elementary level is Jasmine Herrick. 
Congratulations, Jackson. She's crying. Congratulations, Jasmine. Jasmine is a yeah. first grade teacher at Burlington, Burlington Elementary and was nominated by a colleague. Very well deserved and congratulations. The next red apple is Karen Perry Carroll, Northside Middle School. Congratulations. She was nominated by her daughter and colleague and teaches seventh grade science. Outstanding. Now to the high school level, the red apple for the high school is Ann Franklin. Congratulations, Ann. There you go. And uh, by the way, is an English, history, and geography teacher for ninth and tenth grades at Glenville High School, and she was nominated by a student. One more round of applause for all of our Red Apple winners and our Green Apple winners. And now it's time for the Golden Apple. Our uh, Golden Apple Grand Prize winner will receive a three thousand dollar check from the foundation. And the new, the use of the new 2016 Nissan Altima from First Team Auto for one year. And uh, I'm sure that it was very difficult for the judges to choose because there's so many wonderful educators in this room, and Roanoke County does such a great job overall. But our Golden Apple winner teaches 11th and 12th grade biology and ecology at William Byrd High School and was nominated by four students, Barbara McGrath. Congratulations, Barbara. Barbara, if you want a band, you gotta pay the fiddler. <laughs> Just share a couple thoughts with us about, about what you think about winning the award and, and, and how you approach educating your students. Oh my. <laughs> I can retire now. No. <laughs> yeah. Um, hopefully. I always joke to my kids that I gave birth to three children, and then I have 130 odd kids that I have the world's weirdest custody agreement with. They're mine for so many days a week for the year, and then you're my kid until you graduate, you can always come back and visit. And um, that's how I teach them. They're my children. And I must be doing something right. <laughs> and I, wouldn't, I couldn't do it without the help of all my administration at Bird, all my other fellow science teachers. It's just a wonderful thing to go in every day. Thank you so much. Once again, uh, on behalf of the foundation, I want to congratulate everybody who's here in the room tonight. I want to thank you uh, for everything that you do for our kids and for your excellence in education and, and for, for everything that you do that we know. Uh, my kids all went through the county school system and my last one just graduated from college and I know how much time and energy and effort uh, that you guys put in even after school and before school and weekends and everything and it is, it is greatly appreciated and you all tonight represent the best of the best. So thank you once again for being here tonight. Thank you for all you do. And good night.
you just don't get to drive things like this. I've never been <laughs> This car is like the cherry on top of the world's biggest ice cream. This is the wonder, most wonderful thing that can happen to a teacher. You know, I drove a minivan and now I get to drive this really cool car for a year. Thank you, first team, so much for my cool wheels I get to drive for a year.